Hello, Captains. It's the Doctor once again, and it's time for another Star Trek Online free-to-play mission. We did Secret Orders in the last video. That was kind of fun. We got to uh, go through the Briar Patch. Now it's time for the next mission. This is called Task Force Hippocrates, Hippocrates, Hippocrites, however you want to say it. That's how you can say it, <laughs> but it's what is next, so that is what we're going to do. Okay, there are more reports than unusual about Klingon and Gorn attacks along the border of Federation space. Starfleet has created a task force to patrol the area. Proceed to your assigned coordinates in the Zarentine system and begin patrolling. If you receive any distress signals, you are authorized to do whatever is required to assist. So I need to go to the Zarentine system and assist. We will get some goodies. Looks like another armor piece. That's good because I can keep upgrading my bridge officers on the ground and that will help them, which in turn helps me. So let's find out where the Zarentine system, it's over here in the Zarentine sector, of all things. Now remember, as I continue to go through sector space to each system, in each video I am continuing to do the duty officer assignments. This means it will add XP, but the whole goal here is that I want to achieve my higher diplomatic ranks. Ultimately, I want to get to diplomatic rank 4. Really, before anything else, I'm mostly concerned about the diplomatic rank. So what I'm going to do is I just go to current map, I make sure it is on show with met requirements, and then I just pick the diplomatic ones that I can, begin assignment, and let those go. Yes, you can do others if you are just trying to earn a lot of skill points to level up and you're not worried so much about specific ones you're trying to hit, just go ahead and add everything. I mean, why not? It'll level you up in those fields anyway, and you will gain skill points and rank through the game faster if you just do all the duty officer assignments. But I am being very picky and choosy right now with this character. I specifically want diplomatic before anything else. Plus, I don't want to level too fast with this character because... So, so that, of course, is the real... Leonard Nimoy. Yes, he voiced many uh, of the sector space dialogue in this game when it first came out. So kudos for that. Brings it a little more home, doesn't it? I love that. Anyway, um... As I was saying, I don't want to level too fast with this character because then we'd hit in-game really, really quickly and uh, these missions would not be as purposeful and the journey would not be as fun if we just got to max level, you know, <laughs> without playing the missions. All right, let's begin this one. To all Federation ships in range, this is the USS Boyce. We are taking fire from Gorn fighters and need aid from any ship in range. Repeat, we are being attacked by Gorn and need help. Okay, let's uh, help them. Let's power up. Get all our buffs going and fire. Look at that. Killed them halfway down in one shot. That was nice. That was real nice. Totally destroyed. Not a problem at all. Next, let's get this frigate. And frigate, frigate be gone. That's how you take care of the Gorn, folks. This is a nice escort. I mean, it's the second ship we've only ever had in this game here at Lieutenant Commander, but this is a nice escort. I have used the uh, retrofitted version of this ship, and it's pretty nice, too. All right, thanks for the assistance. We diverted from our deliveries to deploy these emergency solar collectors, but now we need your help to activate them. 
our starboard power coupling is blown and we've, we're have reading damage to our navigation systems and warp core. If you can reroute the collector's energy output to us, we can use them to keep our shields up while we make repairs. Okay, we should have no trouble getting close enough to do that. Um, so we need to go to each solar collector and activate them. So let's go to this one over here. We're already in range of the enemy. They're going to fire on me, so let's fire on them first. There we go. Now we're doing some damage. Uh-oh, they hit me with a jam target. And um, I don't have a science team to get rid of that. If you had a science team, science team will remove this um, debuff, as it's called. But I don't have science team, so I can't do that. I just have to wait, wait for it to uh, go away. Okay, now I can take all these... Oh, crap. Incoming mines. I stood up pretty well to those mines. They didn't hardly affect me at all. Awesome. Okay. Activate solar collector thingy. There we go. It is doing its thing to the ship. Now we go to the other two, which are over here. Now, in the past, this mission used to have one of these solar collectors, like, in the middle of the asteroid. But I believe they changed that. I don't know why, but maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. Maybe the last one is in there. I don't know. I just remember I had to fly into the asteroid in the past version of this mission. Okay, let's get this solar collector here. It looks like we only need to activate three. Remember, um, Attack Pattern Alpha 2 now is helping our damage and our critical chance and critical severity. So always, always, always use Attack Pattern Alpha on a tactical character in space. Very important. Okay, the voice is hailing us. Power levels are holding steady, Lieutenant. We can handle it from here. Thanks for the helping hand. Hopefully we'll be able to finish our medical deliveries without too much of a delay. Good luck. Now, we I don't want to warp out just yet because I see this hexafluorine gas that is calling my name. Again, I will start the R&D process when that unlocks. Never done it before, but I want to try it. Maybe I'll be able to craft some good items. That'll be fun anyway to try. Okay, oh, there's another one over there. Sorry, guys, I gotta get it. Just just hang tight, hang with me. Give me a sec. Here we go. Going as fast as I can. Let's get some magnesite ore. All right. Now we can warp. Incoming message. A Vulcan medical vessel, the Tapau, is requesting assistance. We are the closest ship. All right, let's go. We are definitely helping out a lot of people in this mission. The Boyce and now a Vulcan ship. Helling the Tapau. I am Solar, captain of the Vulcan medical ship. There is an outbreak of Tacanian syndrome on the planet's surface. It is of the utmost importance that the medical supplies we carry be delivered immediately. Please accompany us to the planet and defend us from enemy ships. Okay. So we get to escort this uh, Vulcan ship to the planet. And uh, defend them if need be. So that is actu the actual Vulcan ship you do get to purchase in the game if you choose to. It's a uh, sea store ship. Science ship. That's how you do that. Now remember, I'm not going to buy any ships in this game as far as real money goes and the sea store and all that stuff. 
I'm going to play it as free to play as I can and stick to my guns on that one. And uh, that way we see what we actually get with the game. And I can show you that even with what the game gives you, it's still viable at in-game. I hope. Or at least I'm hoping so. We'll find out together. Because <laughs> this is a first experience for me as well. Never played this game on the free-to-play before. So far, playing this game on free-to-play, I have not encountered, at least at this level that I'm at, which is very low level still, I haven't encountered any difficulties or anything that's really that different from a paid account. I've been able to play the missions just fine. The presence of Klingon vessels indicates that this attack is not simply a Gorn raid, but an operation by the Klingon Defense Force. Captain, the T'Pal is hailing us. Lieutenant Commander, we are detecting weapons fire on the planet's surface. My ship is on a mission of peace. We are unequipped to deal with armed resistance. Will you secure the area so our healers can transport to the planet's surface? I guess so. Why not? I'm already here. Might as well. I'm reading multiple Gorn and Klingon life signs between here and the medical facility. We'll need to defeat them before the Vulcan medical team can transport. The local security personnel are unequipped to deal with them. I'm also reading various life signs about the complex. It looks like some of the patients were caught in the crossfire. Check, uh, check fire. We don't want to risk any of the patients. I could probably put my fire suppression device away. I don't think we need that anymore. Put it in my bank or something. Okay, these boxes are just aching for me to jump them up. Up, jump them. Jump up them is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to. Oh, man, I can't. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to do this <laughs> one way or another. Okay, I'm on this box. Run and jump. No. I want on the top of that box so bad right now. If I was a Cation, I could do it, but I'm not a Cation now, am I? I don't think it's going to let me get on that box. How disappointing. How very disappointing. My life is ruined. Hello, Gorn. And by Gorn. By Warrior and by Ranger. Just killed everybody. I just came in and slaughtered the f everybody. Talk to a wounded security guard. Starfleet, thank goodness you've arrived. We've been overwhelmed. Klingons and Gorns ransacking the place. Why are they attacking? As far as I can tell, they're ransacking this place for medical supplies. This is a research hospital with the best technology that Zarentine has to offer. What do Klingons want with medical supplies? I don't know. The Gorn have been going through all of the computers and medical kits. They're definitely looking for something specific. Yes, this is definitely some kind of shared operation between them. The Klingons are doing the fighting, but the Gorn have been taking care of the science. They're the ones looking through the files and taking gear and sample containers. Alright, stay here. Keep your head down. We'll take care of the Klingons. Let's see, can I heal anybody or save anybody? No. However, enemy reinforcements are here. And enemy reinforcements are no longer here. Uh, Intraquery, hospital services. 
This research hospital serves all of the major medical needs of the Zarentine colony. Emergency services, regular patient services, and extended medical care are all available. Okay. This hospital includes developments from Federation Medical Research as well as incorporating proprietary local therapy tracks. Our medical teams have new treatment methods involving gene resequencing, viral therapy, and xenotransplantation to cure problems caused by radiation poisoning, genetic defects, and unsanctioned Tucker contacts. Uh, genetic researching? But that's illegal! Serentine isn't a Federation colony world. This could be what the Klingons and Gorn are looking for. <gasps> Genetic manipulation. Bad stuff. Well, it can lead to bad stuff. Inherently, it's not a bad thing. It's just how it's used. Like everything else in this world, the thing is not the bad. It's how you use the thing. Right? Where are the resequencing virals? I don't know. I'm just a patient. I don't know. Ah, Lieutenant Commander, you're early. Oh, how does he know me? Who is he? Who are you, Gorn? Let's take care of these Gorn first. Rally cry. They're already dead. Torpedo. I mean, torpedo. Why do I keep calling a grenade a torpedo? Somebody tell me. Why do I keep thinking my grenades are torpedoes? I'd love to be on the ground throwing torpedoes. That might be a little bit more than we need, though. See, that's a force field. They're shooting at boxes. Awesome. Go away, Klingon. Get away from me, Gorn. They get so close to you. It's like they want to give you a kiss or something. Okay, that's where we came from. I'm just exploring, making sure we don't miss anything around here. I'll head in there in a second. Oh, here's the corn. Okay, the hotch here is uh, powerful. Here, take a, <laughs> take a fire suppression. That does nothing. I don't know why I did that. Don't throw the floor at me. Ah, he's gone. Signal Captain Salar for beam down. Okay, talk to Salar. Although this facility has sustained some damage, I expect that my crew will be able to restore this wing to functionality in 52 minutes. Your decisive action has potentially saved the lives of many patients today. While the hospital may be saved, I'm still concerned about what the Gorn might have stolen. I cannot speak to the larger issue of the Gorn and Klingon attacks. Logic suggests that if the Gorn left any clues behind, my crew will not find them while they are making repairs. Do not hesitate to speak with them for further information. Your assistance has been appreciated, but the situation is now stable. You may depart at your leisure. Okay, we got aiding aid givers. The area is secure. Captain Salar's crew may be able to answer a few questions for you if you wish. Yeah, let's um, talk to their crew. Let's go in here because I missed this area. Well, I can't talk to these people, though. This one is lying face down and... His head looks very extremely uncomfortable. Let's take a Thoron particle while we're here. Hey, the Gorn took stuff. We can take stuff too. Okay, let's now talk to everybody. So this is going to be some dialogue stuff here, but I, I do want to read through it. There's another room back there. I don't know how you get there. Oh, wait. Now that the force fields are down, can we get back there? Wait a minute. I gotta check this out. I don't think I've ever done that before. When I first played this mission, well, it was a lot different. It's not like it is now. Look at all these bombs. Why do they have these bombs here? So patience. Ooh, see, here's a loot crate that I definitely want. 
that I can sell. Okay, good. Nothing extremely useful back here. But I had to know. Okay. Oh, we can talk to the patient. Please, you have to help us. Um, why are you here? I've been treated for Tucanian Syndrome. There's been some kind of outbreak lately. I don't know much about it other than that the doctors say I need a transplant of my own bone marrow. Resequenced and cloned. Why are you behind a force field? Are you contagious? No, the Gorn and the Klingons put those force fields up when they arrived. They didn't want any of us to escape. Most of the patients here can barely stand. We're not going anywhere. What did the Gorn want with you? He was asking about all the medical supplies and tests, the resequencing virus, the cell growth chambers, everything. I don't know about these things. I'm just a patient. Resequencing and cloning, it's like they're stealing materials used for genetic augmentation. The Klingons never had any luck with augmentation. Their attempts to use the augmentation virus in the 22nd and 23rd centuries were disasters. Why would they be bothering again? The Klingons have never been ones to reopen an unsuccessful line of inquiry. Because it's not for the Klingons, it's for the Gorn. Dun dun dun. The Gorn want to be genetically modified, not the Klingons. They failed. It's the Gorn. They want it. Ooh, interesting information. See what the doctor has to say. What is Tacanian syndrome? A rare virus that attacks the blood cells of some humanoids. The disease was first diagnosed 47 years ago on Tacan 3. Victims of Tacanian syndrome slowly stop producing red blood cells. If left untreated, the disease is awfully fatal. What is the treatment? We will administer a series of injections to the patients over the course of the next three weeks. The treatment can be uncomfortable, but if given in time, the recovery rate is 100%. Who developed the treatment? A team at Starfleet Medical used the Fabrini cure for xeno, let's see if I can say this right, xenopolycythemia, I actually could say that, discovered by Ambassador Spock and Admiral Leonard McCoy in 2268 as the basis for treatment. Xenopolycythemia, <laughs> I said it better the first time, hold on, let's try it again. Xenopolycythemia and Tacanian syndrome are similar in nature. The Vulcan Science Academy is attempting to determine if the two diseases are linked in some way. Okay. So it's just a little bit of background there. I like that. I like uh, getting into the lore of the game and figuring all that out. Here's another room I didn't check. And sure enough, there's a uh, R&D right here. So let's take it. Good. 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 Very, very good. Okay, everybody, that is this mission. Let's depart, though, and uh, turn it in and get our rewards. Okay, we will now turn this in. Good work, Lieutenant Commander. I'm looking forward to reviewing your report. On first glance, it's clear that the Klingons are doing something with genetic modification. Since they don't have their own equipment, they're stealing ours. This is a bad road, and I suspect there's worse news to come. Okay. Alright, some important things are happening right now. I just hit level 14. And as we know, at level 14, we get a new ability... And we are tactical. It's called Fire on My Mark. It is a ground ability. This means that we need to put it on our hotbar, make sure we have a button for it, when we get to the ground portion. So what we'll do is we'll kind of look at it thoroughly in the next mission. I'll go ahead and let's just go to the soul system because... I do want to sell my inventory items. I'll do that off camera. I don't need to do that right now. But what we can do is put that button on our hotbar to make sure that we don't forget it. And uh, look at what it does while we're on Earth Space Dock. I don't want to go to Academy. I want to go to Station. 
in this way will be prepared for the next mission. Remember, always be prepared. Okay, so let's get off the transporter pad. Let's um, hit P. And we're going to look for this one called Fire on My Mark 1. It's a damage, resistance, and stealth debuff. We need to put it on our taskbar. I'm not going to have the fire suppression device anymore. So let's put this on the hotbar. I'm actually going to move it over here. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it right here beside our tor beside our photon grenade. I almost called a tor it a torpedo again. Why am I doing that? I'm going crazy. All right, so you'll note that all of the options we have, all the powers we have, are on our hotbar. So we are using everything available to us. So if what is fire on my mark? Okay, you target the foe, so that means I need to target the foe, like if this was my foe, I would target them like that by clicking on them or like that, you know. Target the foe, and then you want to hit this. And what this is going to do is it's going to do an all damage resistant rating, a negative 15 all damage resistance rating for 15 seconds to the enemy, and a stealth for 15 seconds. So we'll actually, we'll, we'll try that in combat and see, but if I'm reading that right, that reduces or debuffs their damage resistance, making them easier to kill, basically. By lessening or weakening them, you make them easier to kill. It's a debuff. You are debuffing them. That's why it says damage resistance and stealth debuff. You are debuffing your enemy. So yeah, that works toward the enemy to lessen or weaken them to debuff them. Remember, I said at the very beginning, a tactical character, it's all about buffing and debuffing. You're buffing yourself and debuffing your enemy. That's a huge thing with tactical characters. You are making your enemy weaker so that you can destroy them better or faster. That's basically a debuff. So... We'll look at that more when we go to the next mission and play that. But fire on my mark one, you get that here at level 14, which we are now. So hoorah, we got a new power. Now we can also add skill point. I'll go ahead and max out projectile as much as I can. There we go. I'll keep going up on that. And uh, otherwise, we are all ready for the next mission. I am going to pull off this device. I don't need it anymore. And as you can see, I've got quite a lot of stuff going on in my inventory here. I have some upgraded armor and shields. I've got a Mark III pla uh, plasma resistance uncommon shield. I got a Mark IV common. I got a Mark IV uncommon energy dampening with disruptor resistance. Uh, I even have a better tactical kit frame now. I've got a tactical kit Mark IV combat. So uh, these are better things than what I have. I haven't really upgraded my kit much, uh, but I could now. This also provides plus 11 to combat specialist. And I forget what combat specialist helps with. Let's see. This skill improves the damage for ranged weapons, melee weapons, and unarmed combat. This skill also improves your critical chance and critical damage with all attacks. This skill stacks with the weapon proficiency skill, so this would be a good kit, a good kit frame to use. Adding that will help me. Adding the uh, adding this kit frame and putting on these modules to this kit frame, if they're if it has the right slots, it's got an assault and a strategic, and that is strategic and assault. So I can put these two modules on this kit frame. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now on camera so that we are all ready for the next mission. I'll go over this again in the next video as well. Before I take that off, I need to take the modules themselves off. So module, module. Now we're not going to use this kit frame anymore. I'm going to sell it. And now we're going to use this kit frame. This is the tactical kit, Mark IV with combat and uh, the extra combat specialist ability. So instantly... We now have a better kit frame, and now I can put those mods. Oh, wait a minute. No, I can't. Okay, I was worried for a second. <laughs> I can put those modules on that kit frame. Okay, good. 
So instantly my 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 abilities are better. Pretty much my hit points, my let's see, my uh, critical chance severity things are going up. As it says here, um, critical chance, critical damage, and uh, damage for ranged weapons is improved. So there we go. That is going to help us out in missions now. Now I have a better kit frame, more powers. Well, same powers, just a better kit frame. Which is good. So I upgraded that. I don't need to upgrade that. I'm still happy with this. This has a, a disruptor resistance and a regeneration on my shield. Even though there's a Mark IV here. I think I'll put that on somebody else. I'm good with that. Eliza Flores. I'll give her a Mark IV. So Mark IV, Mark IV. Colez. See, he's only got a Mark II. So I'll upgrade him to Mark III. And I can upgrade him to this Mark IV armor as well. So Mark IV armor, Mark III shield. Tavrel can have a better shield as well. And a better armor, because I got one right here for her. Better armor, better shield, and now Zarva. Can we do something on Zarva? Well, just a little bit, not a whole lot. We can upgrade him from Mark II Common to Mark II Uncommon. I'll just do it. It's not a big upgrade, but it's better than nothing. Actually, this has the same shield capacity. And it's got a Disruptor Resistance. Yeah, we'll put that shield on him. That's better than the Mark III shield because it has a uh, modifier on it. Okay, so he's upgraded, or she's upgraded just a little bit. Zarva. I, I think I keep calling her a him anyway. She's a her, not a him. Okay, so Mark II Uncommon. We're fine with that. Mark IV, Mark III, Uncommons, Colez is Mark IV, and Mark III, Eliza's 4-4, four, four, and then I am 4 and 3, but this is a rare item. It has a Disruptor Resistance and a Regeneration Modifier. I'm going to keep it, and I upgraded the kit frame. Anything else that I want to upgrade? Okay, we got a new Assault Kit module called Lunge. I'll save it for now. I probably won't use it, but I'll save it just in case. This is, uh, I can at least demonstrate it to you guys. This is another kit module l called Lunge. Uh, everything else I want to sell for energy credits. Now that I changed my kit out, I need to put the buttons on here. See how it removed the buttons from my modules? Always remember to put the buttons back on your hotbar. So. There's my grenade, and there's my rally cry. Now, the rally cry and grenade, I could upgrade. These are only Mark I commons. See, I really need to upgrade those modules. Those modules are kind of, kind of, well, the beginning modules. They're not very powerful. But anyway, it'll work for right now. So there's my grenade, fire on my mark, my rally cry, and my target optics, which is up to level 2 now on target optics. So everything's back in place, and I'll be doing a little more damage anyway, because I upgraded the kit frame. So the kit frame is giving me more damage. Okay. So that's it. We are now ready for the next mission. Completely ready, and at, well, I'll go sell that stuff off camera. After that, we'll be ready. The next mission is going to be Skirmish. It is actually a series of five missions that used to be a special featured episode series and then they integrated it into the game but it's called skirmish and then spin the wheel what lies beneath everything old is new and night of the comet that is the five story arc to that one it's quite different it removes us from uh, uh, what we're doing with the Klingons and the Gorn and focuses on a completely different alien species that you will see uh, but they're fun, and the rewards in these missions are very unique as well. So they will be pretty fun. So I'm going to do those uh, five missions next uh, after I go sell all this gear. But we are ready for that, so skirmish. Prepare to do skirmish in the next video. Okay. Awesome. We're already prepared. I like it. I like it when a plan comes together. Okay, thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.